Hi there, my Haddad here again. In uh, this new video, I would like to show you how we can configure on the Cisco switch what is called InterVLAN. Now, before we start doing this lab, I really would like to ask you if you can subscribe to my channel because it's very important that I do have uh, more numbers of subscribers so I can keep doing those uh, videos. So please, if you uh, are on my channel and you are watching this video, just put subscribe on this channel. This helps me a lot to be able to keep doing the videos that I'm doing. Now, what is the InterVLAN? InterVLAN means that if we have, for example, uh, two devices which are on two different VLANs, normally on the switch, when the two devices are on, on two different VLANs, they cannot see each other, those devices. They cannot communicate to each other. Now, if you have a layer 3 switch, then it's possible that you can create what is called the inter-VLAN. So on this switch, you just create the VLANs, and those VLANs are interface VLANs, and not the normal VLAN that we create on layer 2. Then what's going to happen, the switch will be doing the routing. Normally, if you don't have capability of layer 3 switch, uh, then in this case, you really need what is called the router on the stick, which is a router on top of the switch to be able to make the routing. But uh, of course, nowadays we do have layer 3 switches. So in this case, we do not anymore have uh, or need to have the uh, router on a stick. We can only route the VLANs on the switch itself. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now, let's go to the lab scenario to see what is the scenario. Then I will start the window points. So this is my scenario. As you can see here, I have a layer 3 switch, which is sitting over here. And I do have here two routers. Those routers, you have to consider them like computers. So you can think that this is PC1, this is PC2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the capability of the routings of those two routers. So they become like end devices. Then I'm going to make on this switch, I put this port here on VLAN 10. And I put this port here on VLAN 20. Then uh, this uh, uh, PC over here, I'll put on it an IP, for example, 10.10.10.1. And this one over here, I'll put an IP of 10.20.20.1. .20 then as they are on two different VLANs, they will not be able to communicate to each other. So my idea is that I want, even though they are on two different VLANs, which is good, but also I want them to be able to communicate to each other. Then what we can do, we can create on the switch, we can create the interface VLAN. So it's just an interface, what we, it is a VLAN interface. And then I'll make one for VLAN 10, one or for VLAN 20. On that interface of VLAN 10, I put an IP address from this range, which is, I put it on the PC1. And on the interface of VLAN 20, I put an IP from this range. And then we have, of course, to make here that the gateway to go from here is to go to the IP of the interface of VLAN 20 and the gateway for the router to go to the interface of, uh, the, or the IP of the interface uh, VLAN 10. And then in this case, we will see at the end that those routers or those PCs will be uh, able to reach each other. Now, a very important remember that those uh, routers are nothing more than computers, right? Because I'm using GNS3 and uh, yeah, I just put the router. I'm gonna take all the capability of routings on those routers so they become like an end device. And we will see if it's gonna work. So this is what we're going to do in this lab. Let's go now to the points and start doing that. Point number one, set an IP of 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 uh, on the fast internet 0 over 0 of router 1 and make it like a PC. So let me put the picture here and let's go directly to router 1. So we go to router 1 and uh, uh, if I go to the interface fast internet 0 over 0, I'll put an IP on it. 10.10.10.1.255.255.255.0 No shutdown. So it's like I'm putting an IP on a computer. Now, how to make this router to be like an end device? I need to use this comment. I say no IP routing. When you say no IP routing, so you are disabling the routing capability on this router. So this is done for router 1. Let's do the same for router 2. So I'm going to use, because this is going to be on VLAN 10, so I use 10.10. .10. Uh, for router 2, it's going to be on VLAN 20, then I will use 10.20. So let's do that. Configure terminal, interface, fast Ethernet, 0 over 0, IP address, 10.20.20.1.255.255.255.0. And then I will say no shutdown. And I will go one level back and I will say no IP routing. So this router becomes like an end device. Point number one and point number two are done. So we put the IPs on the routers or on the PCs and then we make them uh, to act as a PC. 
Now we have to go uh, on the port gigabit zero over zero of switch one, uh, which is uh, the one connected to router one, and we make it port access and assign to VLAN 10. So what does it mean here? We have to go to the uh, picture again, and I'm gonna say, okay, for this switch, it's gonna be, this port is gonna be access because it's connected directly to an NN device, and I'm gonna put it on VLAN 10. Same I'll do here. This port is going to be access and I'm going to put it on VLAN 20. So we are just making uh, what we normally do for VLANs, just uh, putting this port on a different VLAN. So then router 1 will be on VLAN 10 and router 2 will be on VLAN 20. So let's do that. Let's go to the switch. So we go to the switch, configure terminal. Now we go to the interface and the first interface is gigabit 0 over 0. And I have to say here switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 10. Actually, we didn't yet create the VLAN 10, but I think the switch will create it for us now when I do that. Now, so we have to, oh yeah, it has created it. So let's just justify show VLAN. Yeah, it has created, you see, the VLAN 10 has been created and it put inside of it gigabit zero over zero. Let's create VLAN 20. So configure terminal VLAN 20. So we created. Now we go to the interface, which is connected to router 2 gigabit 0 over 1. Correct. Switch port mode access. So this is an access port connected to an end device. And then switch port access VLAN 20. Very good. Let's uh, justify. So we say show VLAN. Let's check. Here we go. On VLAN 10, we have gigabit 0 over 0. On VLAN 20, we have gigabit 0 over 1. Very good. Now let's uh, just check if the interfaces are up. Show IP interface brief. Yes, both interfaces are up, up. Very good. So now in this case, the uh, router 1 is on VLAN 10 and router 2 is on VLAN 20. And yeah, they should be not be able anymore to see each other. Point number three is done. Point number four is done also. Now point number five, try to ping from router one to router two. Is it working? Of course not. First, because we do have the uh, two routers on two different VLANs, but also they have different uh, range of IPs. But let's just try it. So I will say here ping to 10.20.20.1. As you can see, it's not possible because layer two and layer three, they are different. So let's stop the pink now. And if you want, we can do maybe show CDP neighbors. So we can see that it can see only the switch. It doesn't see the uh, router two. Point number five is done. Point number six. Now we need to create the VLAN interfaces on the switch. One to be for VLAN 10, one to be on VLAN 20. The one on VLAN 10, we put it for it an IP from the same range, uh, which we put it on router one. And the one which we make it on VLAN 20, we put an IP address from the same range that we put it on the router two. So I'm gonna do six and seven at the same time. Let's go to the switch. So we go to the switch now. And all you need to do is to say interface, configure terminal first, interface VLAN 10. And I'm gonna put an IP address on this interface, which is from the same range, 10.10.10.254. 255, 255, 255.0. And I'm gonna say here, no shutdown. So this interface has been created. I'll create another one, interface, VLAN 20, IP address, 10.20.20.254, 255, 255.255, 255.0. No shutdown. Excellent. Now, if I say do show IP interface brief, we shall see the interfaces are here showing up. Very good. So now uh, these interfaces, uh, uh, each one will communicate with the router. Then they can make the uh, the switch can make the routing if the routing process is enabled on the switch. So you should have layer three switch in this case. Point number six and seven are done. Point number eight, we need to make the right default gateway on router one and on router two. What does it mean? If I go back to the picture now, remember that uh, on this uh, uh, 
let's say this is a APC, huh? so we put 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1. Normally, you remember when you make a, 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 an IP on your PC, you always put also a gateway. Why? Because if it has to go to some other devices, then it should know that its gateway is this IP over here, which is 10.10.10.254, that we just put it on VLAN 10, correct? So we have to make a, a gateway here because we made this device as a dumb device. That means that it doesn't have any routing. So we have to create the gateway for this device to say that if you want to go to anywhere, go to 10.10.10.254, which is your gateway. And same over here, we put, remember, the IP here 10.20.20.1. Now we have to say for it that also your gateway is 10.20.20.254. So this is important, same as the computer, same logic. If a computer wants to go to uh, anywhere on the network, it should it's always send to its gateway. But before I do that, let's check if the routers can ping to the peer IP, which is the VLAN that we just created. From router 1, I will try to ping to 10.10.10.254. Let's have a look. Here we go. So router 1 can ping to the, that IP. Router 2, if it can ping to 10.20.20.254, important that it can ping it if we want to make it the default gateway for it, it should be able to ping it. Very good. Now we go to router 1. And again, because the router is not anymore a router, doesn't have routing capability, so I need to use the command IP default gateway and then I will say my default gateway is 10.10.10.254 that is on router 1 on router 2 I have also to go to the configure terminal and I have to say IP default gateway 10.20.20.254 very good so now those uh, two routers or those two PCs they do have gateways Point number eight is done. Point number nine, which is the last point, if the configuration is correct, you are able now to ping from router one to router two and vice versa. Let's go to router one. And from router one, let's do step by step. First, we ping to 10.10.10.254, which is the VLAN 10 interface on the switch. And we see it's working. Now, I would like to ping to 10.10. 20.20.254, which is the IP address on the VLAN 20 interface on the switch also. That's possible. Now, if I try to ping to router 2, ping to 10.10. actually 10.20.20.1, this is its IP. Here we go. So router 1 now can reach it. Why? Because the switch has routing capability. If we say show IP route, look, when the traffic comes from the router 1 to the switch, the switch will say, oh, you want to go to 10.20.20? Uh, oh, I know how to reach to that uh, uh, network because it is uh, directly connected to my VLAN 20 interface. Then he can send it. Same when it comes back. So this is, uh, you see, this is how it works. Now, one thing that I want to say, if it doesn't work for you, so say that you made the ping here and it's not working. So most likely because your switch does not have the, even though it's layer 3, but it does not have the routing process enabled. So it could be that uh, it has only the layer 2, because when you have layer 3 switched, so it has layer 2 and layer 3. It could be that only by default the layer 2 is the one enabled, but layer 3 not. So what you need to do from the switch, only you have to make this comment IP routing. So by just saying IP routing and click enter, then you enable the process of the routing on the switch, then it should work for you automatically. Point number nine is done. And uh, with this point, I have showed you how you can configure inter VLANs uh, using the layer 3 switch. You can see it's straightforward. You don't need anymore to have a router. So you don't need to do router on stick when you have layer 3 switch. So you can just create the uh, VLANs and then the inter VLANs will happen on uh, the switch. So if you like my way of teaching, again, please do not forget to uh, make like on this video and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell. I don't know how I can express to you that how important it is to have more subscribers to my YouTube channel so I can keep doing more videos for you. Thank you very much uh, for your time and uh, I see you in some other videos.